me clearly, America is not a racist country. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, uh, Jonathan Majors, you know, despite all of the drama he's been going through, he's still got a pretty strong fan base online. And many of them are very upset that Ezra Miller is allowed to promote the Flash and Jonathan Major, he's been cut from everything. And people are speaking out, you know, because they see Ezra um, Miller out here promoting his movie and nobody tried to take him down like they did Jonathan Majors. So Ezra Miller being allowed to promote The Flash leaves Jonathan Majors defenders fuming. The Flash had its big theater premiere last night and in a surprising turn of events, everyone was present. Yes, even Ezra Miller. As one can imagine, a lot of people weren't happy about this and jumped on the opportunity to defend another superhero movie star, Jonathan Majors. Unless you have been living under a rock, you know about the extensive list of controversies and allegations against Miller, some of which include harassment and grooming, despite it all though the actor has continued to be involved in DC projects to the displeasure of the public. The fact that they are allowed to promote The Flash then and even got to make a speech at a premiere isn't sitting right, but exactly for the reasons one would expect. For Jonathan Major fans, Miller's public outing is nothing short of an injustice considering that according to them the marvel star has been canceled with much less evidence in case anyone need to uh be reminded majors was arrested yes that his incident happened back in march and it's due to his now ex-girlfriend claiming um that she was a you know, physically assaulted by him and then turned around and recanted her story. And they have since broken up. He's now actually dating Megan Good. And if you look online, there's pictures of them together. So that's who he is seeing now. While major defenders are screaming the loudest about this subject, they're not the only ones. Some folks have also taken to social media uh, to call out racism in Hollywood, which they argue is responsible for the vast different ways in which problematic celebrities are treated. I agree with that. I definitely do. You know, I, I think if you're going to make a move they could at least wait for the outcome of your case, but the fact that they jump ahead of themselves and cancel you, yeah, it's racism, especially if you didn't do it to Miller here. Okay, so this is, this is not even um, brought up for the first time. Um, after the news broke about Ant-Man and the Wasp, folks were quick to point out how differently the two were treated, not just by Hollywood, but by the general public itself. It seems unlikely that DC will backtrack on its decision to have Miller promote The Flash, but after this wave of criticism, perhaps it should be at least rethought. You know, even a little, but I don't think it will be. You know, unfortunately, we don't live in a fair world. We live in this one. These folks are so unconcerned about being fair, it's not even funny. They put their unfairness out there for the entire planet to see. They don't care. So 
even with the public and his uh, fans, Jonathan Major fans complaining, they're still going to let Ezra uh, Miller stay out there promoting the movie. They don't care. They don't care. It's not about being fair. It's about making sure uh, the one that looks the most like them get the least harm in the whole thing. But y'all, I have to say, I do agree. I, I think giving one the benefit of the doubt and the other one the shaft, yeah, that's real problematic for a lot of people. You know, even if Jonathan Majors don't get back into acting, he really should consider coming to social media. He's still got such a strong fan base. I think he would do exceptionally well. I do, you know, I, I think, yeah, you know, you're going to always have the critics, but he got a lot of fans. And if he came on social media, especially if, you know, he's been blackballed everywhere else, I think that it would probably be bigger than he could even imagine. I really do. You know, many of us, know how somebody like Jonathan Majors is treated in this country. And we know we don't get the benefit of the doubt. We don't get things taken into consideration. They are very, to, you know, very quick to jump the gun when it comes down to any issues that we're involved in. And we know this, and this has been going on forever now. But y'all, tell me what you think. And I know uh, Tareen, has done uh, videos on this same subject matter in the past and you know and and i have to agree is definitely some racial bias going on but we are talking about hollywood <laughs> what do you expect please leave your comment and subscribe don't forget to hit on the notification bell and i'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.